put a loaf of bread on your head like I was baby. Now. Nigga said he pull up his spray, wasn't no saving. Now. Shit, I'm out your trapping, no capping, trying to feed my baby. My baby. Yeah, I keep the 50, you dig your grave, I'ma lay you. I ain't with the back and forth beefing all on the internet. I'ma catch you lacking in traffic, nigga, and leave you there. Shit, I know some niggas, a cut you, spit you from ear to ear. Cut you to the gristle, my nigga, rest in peace, soldier slim. Eddie, you know what I'm saying? Long live Natty, man. I just did an up on Natty. This was his brother, his younger brother. This was actually the baby boy, T. Clark. Miss Natalie had five boys. She now have two left. You know what I'm saying? That's her two oldest boys. I won't say that's her two oldest boys. Matter of fact, that is her two oldest boys. So her three youngest boys is no longer with us. You know, we're gonna talk about T. Clark, man. Now, at one point in time, you know what I'm saying? T. Clark was real laid back. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about a real player. You feel me? Like. Love to stay fresh, you know what I'm saying? Stunt, you know, mouth full of goals. You know what I'm saying? I think he had like six, I think he had like six at the top, like four at the bottom, something like that, you know what I'm saying? He laid back cool, you did. Love to throw them things, you feel me? Go from the shoulders with them, you know what I'm saying? Just real 90s type of cat, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> somewhere along the line, you know what I'm saying? He went to losing that charisma, you know what I'm saying? And that, that touch, you feel me? That effect he had on people, cause he started dipping and dabbing, getting loaded, you know what I'm saying? So his addiction started affecting his personality and the type of person he was morally. So he started to do a lot of things that, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't usually doing, normally doing. Started rubbing the wrong, you know, rubbing certain people the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? And the shit wind up catching up with him, but T. Clark was that nigga, man, you know what I'm saying? Was a real clown, you feel me? Like, but he, he had to become unpredictable. To where you never know really to what what to expect with him, you know what I'm saying? And he be, he became like to where you really couldn't trust him, you know what I'm saying? Like he was just it just seemed like he hadn't got to the point where he was always scheming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got out of character for sure, bro. So um, I don't know what actually took place, you know what I'm saying? If I wasn't mistaken, it was it was about some type of dispute, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna read to y'all what I found on 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 the, on the situation, you know what I'm saying? So it say, um, we affirm for the reasons below that at trial, Sean Williams testified that about that at about 3.50 p.m. on June 13, 1998. Damn. So T got killed, right? I ain't much know it was that close. Man, that's crazy, man. Damn, I ain't even know they got killed that close, like literally, like right behind each other. You know what I'm saying? I thought... I thought T had then got killed like two years later or a year later, but he actually got killed a few months after Natty. Like, damn. That had to be a hard one for Miss Natalie, man. Man. Damn. So it's a trial. Sean Williams testified that at about 3.30, I mean 3.50 p.m. on June 13, 1998, he was driving on Valley Street between Magnolia and Robert Street when someone in an approaching car flagged him down. Mr. Williams slowed down in his car almost to stop and recognized Willie Webster, the defendant in the other car. Mr. Webster began shooting at him, firing 11 shots at Mr. Williams, who was hit in the leg. Mr. Williams drove to the nearby grocery store for help. He was taken to the hospital where he spoke to the detective. Later, Mr. Williams was shown a photographic lineup from, from which he selected Mr. Webster's picture and named him as the man who shot him. Mr. Williams appeared at trial when an Orleans Parish prison attire explaining that he had been convicted of distribution of cocaine and was now in prison for a parole violation. He denied receiving any special considerations, any special consideration from the state for his testimony. Officer Michael Richard investigated this shooting and found bullet shells on the road at the intersection of Valence and Magnolia Street. Mr. Miller Green of the crime lab testified that he photographed the scene of the shooting and identified seven spent casings and three spent copper, copper jack bullets that were found there. Officer Kenny Marsh testified that he spoke with Sean Williams while he was in the hospital and got the name Will. Officer Kenny, Officer Kenny Larry Jr., an expert in firearms identification, test, testified that he examined the seven 9mm cartridge casings recovered from Valence and Magnolia Street 
and found that they were fired by the same weapon. Additionally, he found that all three of them, all three of the nine millimeter bullets were recovered, that were recovered were fired by the same weapon. Officer Leo also testified concerning the evidence recovered on June 24, 1998, after the second incident at, at issue in this appeal, the murder of Terrence Clark and that shooting six spent nine millimeter cartridge casings for unknown caliber lead fragments and three copper jacket fragments were found at the intersection of Magnolia and Amelia and two nine millimeter bullets were recovered during the autopsy of Terrence Clark. The officer examined the six casings and found they were fired by the same weapon. And the two bullets from the dead man's body came from the same weapon. The fragments were un unsuitable for comparison. A comparison of the cartridge cases from the two crime scenes at the two recovered bullets revealed all were fired from the same weapon. So damn, this nigga was carrying that bitch on some John Wick shit, just murking shit with that bitch. Allegedly, and Mr. Clark was about to leave the group when Willie Webster suddenly appeared running towards them pointing a gun. Mr. Lomax turned to run and I immediately heard gunshots. Several days later, Mr. Lomax spoke with a police officer and then attempted a physical lineup. Mr. Lomax identified the defendant, Mr. Webster, as the man he saw with a gun immediately before the shooting. Mr. Lomax admitted that he initially told the police he saw the gunman, but he did not inform the police that he knew the man until some time after he was sure that Mr. Webster was in custody. Damn. So it's the officer, officer Doretha Butler of the crime lab testified that she photographed the crime scene and secured all the evidence there. She saw the victim, Terrence Clark, face down on the ground with a head wound. Six pin casings, four lead fragments, and three copper fragments were found near his body. Detective Walter Powers Jr. testified that when he interviewed Mr. Lomax two days after the murder, Mr. Lomax said he was unable to identify the person who committed the crime. However, Mr. Lomax called the detective to speak with him again. Mr. Lomax attended physical lineup and the detective set up in a, and identified Mr. Willie Webster as the gunman. Damn, man. The nigga did say he, um, he, he like, Man, long live T. Clark, man. Shout out to that dark side, you know what I'm saying? May the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be up on the family. Y'all get in that comment section, man. Slum 1200, GGI my shit. I bleed the streets, I am the struggle. Yeah, I'm the struggle. I bleed the streets, I am the struggle. Yeah, I'm the I bleed the streets, I am the struggle. Play the cuts like peroxide, wait in the bubble. Still trapping with this rapping, yeah, I'm going, going in. in. Trying to murder everything, even the patent pen. No witnesses, no survivors. Red cross, Red cross. Glock fire, hot lava, head lost.